A really important thing you have to understand is comments. And comments do not influence your code whatsoever. They are just explaining it, or well, they are commenting what your code does. And you really want to use comments quite extensively because they are really useful to help how you organize your code and to understand what it does. Especially if you work in a team, you want to add lots of comments because other people would really appreciate it. It also works as a really good reminder for your own code. It's a really common thing for programmers that you write some code, you don't look at it for half a year, and then you have no idea what it does anymore. And writing comments is a very good way to remind yourself. There are two ways to write comments in Python. The first one is the hashtag symbol. Anything on that line after the symbol is going to be ignored by Python. The other way is a triple quotation mark. This one will comment out anything inside of these quotation marks. This would also work over multiple lines. Although technically it's not a comment, we are going to learn later what this is, but you can use it as a comment. And let's say I have again a test variable, and this one is a really important value. I want to add a comment to explain that this is a really important value. We are just using the hashtag symbol and anything after that symbol is going to be a comment. You can also add multiple if you want to add some specific kind of styling, which is fairly common actually. What you see fairly often is programmers doing something like this, then a comment and then something like this at the end. I guess we can close this box as well to make it look a bit prettier. With something like this, you have a very clear section inside of your code. But the important thing here to understand is that anything after hashtag symbol on the line of code is going to be ignored. I guess let me actually run the code by printing the test variable, run this now, and we can only see a really important value. Anything here and here was ignored by Python. You could also put this anywhere else in your code. For example, here, and then this line of code is going to be ignored entirely. And something that would make more sense is you could comment out the entire line. And that is basically it for the easiest kind of commenting. Although for this type of comment, Sublime has a very neat trick. Let me duplicate it a couple of times. And imagine all of these are different examples of code. And you want to comment out all of them. It would be really annoying to write a hashtag in front of every single line of code. It just wouldn't be efficient. So what you can do is select all of them and then press control and the forward slash, the one below the question mark. If you do that, all of them are being commented out. And if you press it again, the comment disappears, which is what I am using all the time. And well, with that, we have the first type of comment. What you can also do, I guess, let me add something below here. Let me call it another variable. Let me just use some numbers. And now duplicate this a few more times. And again, I want to comment out multiple lines of code. For that, I can use three quotation marks at the start and at the end. You can already tell the color was changed to gray and this tells us this is going to be a comment. Meaning if I run the code now, we wouldn't be able to see it. Okay, granted, we wouldn't be able to see this at all. So let me add a print statement in here with another variable. If I run this now, we still cannot see the print statement because all of this is a comment. Now, this example here, isn't exactly great because it's just lots of individual variables that I copy pasted. How you would use this kind of comment most of the time is by adding a couple of lines of code that explain something more complex. Let's say this is a really important section. It does a couple of things that we need for the code to work whatever you want to put in here. After that, you would have the rest of your code. This is what you see fairly often. And Python actually incorporated this into its functionality, 
we are going to see this later on as well. I guess for now, the really important thing you want to be aware of is this one here. The simple kind of comment that you can just put anywhere. And that way you can either add explanations or sections to your code, which really help with the organization. 